And we're doing the finale of the greatest game since the last game he made. Actually, no, that's not even true, is it? No, it's actually the greatest game of all time. Oh, is it? Wow, oh, you're, put, you're putting this ahead of Mario Adventure? And I'm extra putting, Mario Brothers? I'm, I'm putting this ahead of Pong. Pong. Yes. That's a really tough one to beat, man. I gotta say yeah. that. But no, I'm putting it ahead Pong of Pong doesn't even have that many glitches, I don't think. No, and I'm putting it ahead of Pong in terms of cultural relevance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that... Well, you know, this did change... After I played this game, I did start uh, noticing less people wearing underwear, so that's probably a correlation. Plus, Toad's all about smashing the state. You know, he's... You know, he's yeah, oh, I know, of course, the rise in mushrooms, of course, duh. I mean, he, he's, uh, he's part of the proletariat, you know. One oh, the he's, he's overthrowing the, the, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't the think... communist regime of Bowser, or not the communist <laughs> regime of <Bowser. laughs> I would think he's, that he he's would have a communist... He's overthrowing the monarchy of Bowser <laughs> in order to implant a communist regime, a worker's paradise. Right, and, uh, what's saving Mario have to do with it? Um... Mario is their leader. He's the leader of the resistance. Is he? Well, yeah. how, how do you let him get captured then? And why didn't they assassinate him? Because they were questioning him, and they were going to make an example of him in a public execution. What kind, of, uh, the day. what kind of torture devices do you think they use? Do what? What kind of torture devices do you think they use in questioning? Like, you know those springs that you jump on? They get two of those, but they flip one upside down, and then they throw you between them, so you're, like, kind of being bounced up and down. Oh, well, I would have thought they'd just have them watch Fox News for, like, a day, but, you know, that that works, too. It does. No, they're not, they're not trying to kill him. Oh, okay, right, they do have to, <laughs> they do have to let him live, that's true. And they need his mind to still be intact enough to give them information. <laughs> <laughs> well... It, you can only do so many things, I guess, but... That beetle just pwned you. He was like, fuck you. And he just jumped into your ass. It happens, you know? Uh, not every player is perfect, except me when I'm playing Mario Adventure. But other than that, you know, there, there's no player that's perfect. I'm perfect. Are you? You can beat this game without getting hit? Nope. <laughs> okay. But you're still perfect. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. I'll accept that. I'm so perfect that the contradiction doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh, shit. Because I'm that fucking awesome. Oh, you, dude, you blew it. That was totally your path to the 5,000 points. You know, if... Okay, uh, I just one little beef I have here. If you had not put any uh, power-ups in this world, just like you did in... Uh, just like they did in World 8 of their game... That would have totally been like a fuck you for me, you know? I would have been fucked there, but you put power ups in every level. <laughs> well, god damn it, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Well I'm just saying it could have you could have made this world pretty hard except for the fact that there's power ups everywhere. <laughs> I think it's still harder than the original. Hmm, I don't know. Well I mean overall yeah, but I don't know about World Eight. Well they're World Eight Tier Seven, whatever, but I don't know, World 8 in the original Mario is not that hard. The worst part is the damn pipes in 8-4. Yeah, and then once, true, you, once you know that, that's easy. No, I mean, it's it's pretty easy, but um, you can't... You don't have much margin for error, that's the thing. So right. the first time you're going in, like, I am pretty much am right here, uh, I can fuck up or it'll get away with it, whereas in the first time you're playing Super Mario Brothers, you can't. That's all. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> See, get, get, get that power up. Go ahead, Mr. <laughs> I don't yeah, think I die right. getting it. <laughs> See? Well, it... you're better than most, because it's a bitch. I've died trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I knew it was a good place to put it. Maybe you should put no platform under there at all, and see if they try and figure out a way to get to it anyway. You'd have to be stupid. <laughs> There's be no way. Like, if you had any idea of like what could be done in Mario, <laughs> oh, it's like maybe he put it in a form. Mario doesn't have invisible platforms. <laughs> well, you just. 
okay, I I might be able to defend myself on that. I thought if I had jumped, I would have hit the octopus thing. Well, you the could have just stopped and waited, Mr. Impatient. Right, and actually I'm so impatient on this run, I don't think I even get the uh, mushroom. I think I just go straight through, because I'm that badass. You're a badass cop who plays by his own rules. <laughs> Wait, he's a cop now? I thought he was just a revolutionary. Damn, quit freaking changing his identity through the No, game. I didn't change it. He's a cop, but only to spy on the state. Is that right? <laughs> to, to find out, you know, he can give the revolution warning. Hey, there's going to be a raid here. You know. But he's, a, he's still a badass cop that plays by his own rules, you know. He's more concerned with right and wrong than he is with the... That right. Well, um, do you have an explanation for this? I think he can. When did Bowser start to be able to walk over like air? When he met Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, that doesn't even make any sense. But thanks for the answer <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so that's the best you're gonna get. If you would, if you would put like two Hammer Brothers there, that would have been great. But notice the hack is coherent throughout the end. You get to meet Mario. It's not like the princess is there for no reason. <laughs> Play again, okay, is there any difference in hard mode other than Goombas becoming Beatles and shit like that? No, but neither was there in the original. Yeah, I'm just asking if you changed anything else and I didn't play it, that's all. No. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad, but... And then I fucked your mom and... Hey, but it's over! It, Yay! I'm just saying it could have been better, that's all. Could have been better. But you cheated, you skipped to each world. <laughs> Not my fault you put that there. <laughs> Yeah, if I just played it all the way through, there is a chance. Slight chance I would have gotten a game over. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Did I die enough for a game over in this? I don't think so. So. Whatever, though. Think I should do a remix next? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I applaud beer that. Does. That's why beer is good for you. It makes you do that. Okay, I'll take note of that. And start yeah. drinking daily. Um. Yeah, I think I should do a remix, though. Uh, no. <laughs> no, but I tell you what, um, you know, I mean, I don't care if you fucking do it, I don't know, but, you um, do. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know, if you're a child that's at least under 13 years of age, it's especially important that you drink beer for the sake of your physical and psychological development. That's a good message, make sure you give that to Bud Light so they can put that in commercials. And cigarettes I mean, show your scientific research to them. Cigarettes them. prevent cancer, and young especially can benefit from the energizing effects of crack cocaine. <laughs> or mushrooms. Don't forget mushrooms. Yes. Anyway, I think we should probably stop now. Probably. Well, yeah. that was fun. Thanks for uh, doing this. No problem. I'm going to go drink more beer. Good idea. Get drunk off your ass. <laughs> <laughs>